What is up everybody? I don't know the exact time length it's been from my last plants update video, which was my first one. But I'm back again. We're going to go back through all my plants. We're going to walk you guys through, show you what's going on back here in the back patio grow. Got some other things I want to talk about. Um, see these cages here? They kind of resemble tomato cages, but they're really not. I'll, tell, I'll talk a little bit about uh, how I make those. I make those myself, uh, mostly recycled material, sometimes new, just depends on what I have. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. I guess first off, we'll start here. As you can remember, in my last video, I had this giant tray of tomatoes. I had some cucumbers. Those have long since been somewhat given away. Some were set in the garden. These two are the only ones left have a beef steak and a sandwich slice a couple sandwich slicers left these peat pellets here are my seven pot bubble gum times naga strain that i'm attempting to grow out the uh the website that i obtained these from was white hot peppers they said that on the website that they were an unstable strain so i'm going to make an attempt to get a phenotype of pods that i enjoy First up with the plants is the Sugar Rush Peach. Much larger from when you saw it the last time. It's starting to flower. Here is the beast of the chocolate maruga. This one has a different type of cage. It's, it's much smaller, but I made it and I left the stakes at the end. Instead of having this bottom rung in here, I just snipped it on the last one. So it's kind of like a stake, so it just goes down into the soil. And here's the Bubba. I'm still interested to see what kind of fruits this is going to produce. I've never really seen this before. I topped it and it's, it's coming back. It's, it's getting some buds, but we're not quite there yet. There's the babies. I'll come back to those. And here in this ground cage, I have the Monster Naga. Much larger than it was last time. Some nice flowers in there. Here is my tallest, tallest. Georgia pine looking ahi amarillo. A reaper turned into a nice little bush. The ahi pineapple here. Still crinkly. I had some bone meal. After some Google diagnosis of plant problems, the wrinkly leaves came back to a just adding bone meal would fix it, but I haven't seen anything yet. Here is the Jay's Peach Ghost in this white bucket right here. Just pick the fruits off of it. Hopefully you start to see a lot of buds coming back. These two side by side here are the Butch T Trinidad Scorpions. And this one's already hanging full of buds. At the edge we have the ahi mango. Get lots of fruits. Seen a lot of different types of pod variants with this this variety of pepper. Huh. Here we have the bubble seven pot bubble gum times naga in another ground cage. One little flower. No flowers yet. But buds. Over here I have my two scotch bonnets side by side. My old plants. Got some fruits. So over here, it's full of buds and little tiny fruits. Here's my ghost plant long long journey for this little guy it came from one of those companies um, my roommate had bought me 
a Christmas present when I was still in school. And it was a little can from Amazon that says grow your own super hot peppers or something like that. And it was the ghost variety. And he bought me the can and nothing came up. So I dumped it out, took the seeds out, and started them myself. And this guy's the result of it. So it might not even be a ghost pepper. We don't know. But we're going to find out. And let's go back to all the babies. Okay, I'll start up front here. First one here is a seven pot infinity yellow. Seven pot brain strain yellow. And we have a chocolate bootla DM. Another chocolate bootla DM. Chocolate brain yellow. A bootla DMs again. A hob number two from Mr. Brando Toe. Shout out man. My Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion X. A brown bootla with a twisty looking little wicked leaf. Another habanero number two. And a third habanero number two. Got a reaper in the corner, little guy. Another chocolate bootla. Another Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion X. Another bootla. And lastly, another brown bootla. If you guys have been following me, last time you saw these plants, they were little bitty. They've long since had some fish fertilizer, and well, they're sitting in my potting mix. If you've watched my second video of this series, you'll know the mix I use has got quite a bit of manure and uh, quite a bit of fertilizer already in the potting mix. Alright, let's get back to these cages that I was talking about it's really simple mostly made from old fencing very straightforward design if you guys would like to see an instructional video on this let me know I'd be glad to do one I might even do it anyways but let me know your thoughts on this I always thought it was cool you don't have it's movable it's reusable it protects the plant it's not really in the way, it's the, pretty much the same circumference as the pot that the plant's already in. Keeps the wind from blowing it down. And it gives me something to do. Alright guys, until next time. Shout out to the Pepper Lover community. Please like and subscribe. Throw down any suggestions. Um, hopefully I'll have some taste tests and maybe another... A couple other pod reviews coming your way. Until then, happy gardening.